It seems like 2022 has been the year of female artists in rap. There have been many hit records and many new female artists breaking onto the scene. The one that has made huge waves and seems to come up in any conversation about relevant artists in hip hop is Glorilla. It has been an amazing breakout year for her, with hit songs and even being nominated for a Grammy. Something that seems to set her aside from other female rappers is that both men and women are open about enjoying her music. We haven't seen this with many other female artists in recent years. The absurd title of this video actually comes from a tweet that sums it up pretty well. Glorilla, the first female unisex rapper, lol, her songs be sliding in the whip. In this video, we'll discuss why that is and why it's made such an impact on her career. Before getting into the nitty gritty about Glorilla, I wanted to give a quick honorable mention to a few female artists that have had success in the past with both genders bumping their music, like Young M.A., Gangsta Boo, Rico Nasty, and Lauren Hill. Although these artists may not be in the conversation when talking about trending artists in modern music at this moment, they too had or have fans that are not limited by gender. Now, back to Glorilla. Why is her music publicly enjoyed by both men and women? Like I said, I don't believe that this is the only female artist that both groups listen to, but traditionally, most men may be turned away from listening to other female artists for a number of reasons. One of the most surface level reasons could be that they typically sound softer or sassy with their delivery, giving a more feminine sound overall. However, Glorilla's voice is the complete opposite. With a deep tone and a gravelly finish, it provides a tough and more masculine sounding delivery that could be compared to male artists like Pop Smoke or even DMX. Beyond just the sound, her lyrics are also different from most popular female rappers, because they aren't as focused on things totally exclusive to women or that could be awkward to rap along with in the car with your guy friends. Now, she certainly has some songs that are female anthems, but not every song is focused on these themes. So with that being said, Glorilla doesn't seem to isolate her audience to only males, but she's also doing a great job of capturing a large female fan base. She's not only worked with other large female artists that have predominantly female fan bases, but she also looks the part. She's typically rocking a full face of glam makeup and over-the-top lash extensions that reflect the current beauty trends. Now let's discuss why appealing to both men and women has helped Glorilla so much and even accelerated her career. One of the obvious reasons is that her fan base has the potential to be so much larger by not scaring away a majority of men by using a zesty tone or over-the-top details about hooking up with men. Even if the songs were super fire, most men would be too insecure or just weirded out to play that in public or around their homies. This gives the ability to capture a larger audience from the start, because statistically, there are more male consumers of hip-hop than female. A less obvious reason, but perhaps more impactful, is because most of the influencers or modern day gatekeepers in hip hop are men. From on air DJ hosts to podcasters and other micro influencers, a majority of these figures are males, with the occasional female co host thrown in there. When I picture a few of these figures off the top of my head, the list are all men like Sway, DJ Academics, Joe Budden, Charlemagne, Adam22, and Anthony Fantano. This leads to a majority of their audience being males as well. If these prominent and respected male figures are supporting Glorilla on their platforms and listening to her music, then their male audience would most likely do the same thing and even be proud of it. It's great to see female artists succeed in hip hop, and I hope that we continue to get more great female artists stepping onto the scene. With so many consumers of the genre, there's always room for more artists and more variety to bring refreshing sounds. It will be interesting to see where Glorilla goes from here, and if she continues to walk the line of appealing to both the male and female audiences. Thank you for watching. Who's your favorite female rapper? Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I release new hip hop focused videos each week. Have a great day.